YouTube fam, it's Kiana and welcome back to Kiana's Creative Closet. So today my loves, before we even jump into the video, I want to say Happy New Year's to everyone. This is the first video of the year. It wasn't quite planned that way. I had a vlog planned for the first video. Um, it was a birthday vlog. My husband's birthday was Monday. But unfortunately, I had to pause on filming that video. I did get a little bit of footage, but I wasn't able to get much because we wasn't able to do anything. We had a really bad snowstorm here in the DMV area, so it had paused all plans that we had for that day. So in that video, I do wish everyone a happy New Year's and everything. And then we also, in that video, I touched bases a little bit on me reaching partnership. I did um, um, let y'all know my community page that YouTube sent me an email and told me I was now eligible. And I applied later that night and I got an email two days later that said I was approved. So thank you my loves thanks for the continued support i love y'all you just don't know how much this means to me with all of your help that's what made me get here so this video i don't want to ramble too much i am going to do a giveaway i'm going to announce that giveaway next week um in one of the videos i do next week but it will be a giveaway i will go over the um the terms of that giveaway in that video i'm not going to really talk about it today this video we are going to do a fashion to figure and a rev dolls haul y'all know i have been doing a little bit of shopping on both sites i've been trying to get away from doing so many h m hauls even though that is my fave place to shop everyone doesn't like h m everyone doesn't shop at h m if you don't know why <laughs> why so but to think about it i did want to give options and i love both rev dolls and fashion to figure i'm glad i ventured back into um those two websites and i've been finding so many nice things this video is a little bit different for me because um i got some sexy pieces some sexy pieces sexy mama is in the house <laughs> so if you think that some of you are interested in stay tuned for the video but if you are new here and you love fashion like your girl does please subscribe now below turn on your notifications so you can be notified of my new videos to my new subscribers and my ogs thanks for the continued support my loves let's get into it okay so i'm going to start with Rev dolls. I'm going to start with them. I have four pieces from them and I have six pieces from Fashion to Figure. Four clothing items from Fashion to Figure and two pairs of shoes. But I'm going to go ahead and start with Rev dolls. This is the first dress. I'm going to step back for you for you in a minute, but I just want to show you up close. <laughs> this is not going to work. I'm just going to let you know now. I'm showing you the collar. It's one of those collars that I've been seeing on a lot of dresses of this sort that has kind of like the the collar that only goes to the back of your neck i don't know what's that about <laughs> i need these companies or you know designers to tell me what's that about it's giving count dracula <laughs> so i'm not feeling that just because i already have a fat neck so it's just it's hiding you're not going to be able to see it um if you're going to do a collar bring the collar all the way around this is not flattering to me i'm going to step back this is the full dress. This dress is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's just not appropriate for my figure. It is. It does nothing for me. First of all, the dress is too big. I am pear shaped, so you know I am a little bit smaller at the top than at the bottom. So I have to make way for my hips instead of the top portion of my body. Now this dress will look perfect on someone who's apple because they can fill it out a little bit more in the breast. And then the ruching, you see this dress had ruching. The ruching will kind of hide the belly area. So if you are apple shaped woman, this dress will be perfect for you. It's just not perfect for me and my shape. So like I said, it's very, very loose and big. At the top, you can see my bra all the way through. I'm okay with my bra showing as long as you have on a sexy bra. It's just still giving um, sex appeal. But with this one, it's just not working. <laughs> it's not working. It's not giving sexy. It's giving too big. So it's too big in this area, but at the same time, it's too tight in the arms. If you can kind of see it gathering a little bit here, and then you see the inseam is not really sitting 
where my underarm is. Now it is. <laughs> but it's too tight in the arms. I do love the sleeves of this dress. It has the balloon sleeves. And then it has the tight. Um, what kind of. What style of shirt is this? I can't think right now. Like a Victorian. With tight at the wrist. And then it kind of balloons out. That is very pretty. I love the color of this dress. Orange. Um, teal green and mustard yellow is my color. Um, I get so many compliments when I wear that color. Now, the bottom of the skirt, it fits pretty well. The bottom fits pretty well, y'all. Now, my mirror is here. The only thing is that I wish it would have been a little bit shorter, says the girl who doesn't like short dresses or skirts. But with this one, the style of it, I wish that it would have been shorter. Now, I'm going to tell you one thing about Red Dolls. What I noticed on their site is that um, they will have something listed as many. And then when you get it, it's, it's not a many. I think they do that because they feel like since it's not under the knee, that it's not considered many. But this fits me. This actually fits me under the knee. You can't see my knees through this dress. So I consider it midi. It's not a mini dress. On the model, um, on the site, she's a little bit taller. So it does look um, kind of mini on her. But on me, this is giving midi. Another thing, um, the belt. Rev dolls. <laughs> I love y'all. I love just about everything that you have on your site. Y'all do some really nice pieces for plus size women. But I need you to give us loops for our belts. So this is probably the third dress that I got from Rev Dolls that does not have any loops. It just has a, you know, a belt that you just tie. We need loops. <laughs> you know, what happens when you want to go to the bathroom? You know, you're, you're going to untie it, forget there's no loops, and then your, your dress is, I mean, your belt is on the unsanitized bathroom floor. <laughs> no hot tea. So, that's what I need them to do, is get some loops for the belt. So, this is the next dress from Rev Dolls, and when I saw this on the site, I knew that I wanted it. I knew that it would go perfect in my wardrobe, because y'all know I love light neutral colors, whether it's fall, winter, spring, or summer. I'm just all into the light colors, the, the tans, the beiges, the creams, the ivories. That's my thing. So I knew that I wanted this. I wanted to pair it with my white um, under the knee or knee high boots that I picked up from Fashion to Figure um, about a month ago. So I thought that would be really cute. The only thing about this dress is that I should have sized up. If I'm not mistaken, this is a 3X. So I probably should have sized up to a 4X. Or it could be a 2X and maybe I need to size up to a 3. But I'm pretty sure it's a 3X and I needed to size up to the 4 now it may i'm not sure if on camera if it looks like it's perfect it's almost a perfect fit it's just my hips are wide so it's a little bit pulling at this in this area here and this area in between two buttons so i'm not into the whole pulling of fabric that's a clear indication that the item is too small for you so i wish that i would have went up and I'm probably going to send this back. But right now, I'm not sure. Y'all know my mirror. I'm not sure because I feel like um, I'm on keto. I have been doing very well on keto. So I feel like in the next two to three weeks, this is going to be perfect. This is good anyway for when it gets a little bit warmer. It's a little too thin, even though it's long sleeves, to wear right now. Unless you're just going in and out, maybe to a dinner or, or something of that sort but just wearing it out is right now it's just a little too thin so i feel like when it's really time for me to wear it it'll be perfect but y'all know me i don't like keeping clothes that is not a perfect fit when i buy it so i'm not sure um what what i'm going to do i'm not sure um can you see the little bit of pulling here so i'm not sure but i'm gonna show you an accessory why i may keep it because this accessory may make the dress work so y'all i got a belt from um rev dolls and 
I'm going to put it on because you can't really see how it's supposed to be. It kind of looks like a skirt, right? But it's a belt. So let me put this on real quick and show you how it's supposed to be worn as well as trying to see if this will work or make this dress work without me having to send it back. So this is the belt, y'all. I think this is how you tie the belt but to be honest i'm not sure you probably can see my shapewear under this if i was to wear this like this i would definitely opt out of a short style um shapewear and just do a panty but yeah i know it's supposed to be something like this but i'm not sure because the string is so long so i'm not sure if you're supposed to have the string long on one side i'm sorry y'all my son keep running in and out the damn door or if it's supposed to go on the other side and be a little shorter. I'm just, I just don't know. But it's supposed to have kind of this opening here. This is the back. I like, I like it. I think that this belt is very interesting. Um, and especially if you want to wear it, if you want to have the fupa or anything like that. It's definitely giving you that. I think this is tied wrong. I think this is to hang longer, this string, because it's a very long string. I just have it doubled around. So you see, if I wear it like this with this belt over it, you can't really tell that it's a little bit too small. Yeah, you see? So that's why I probably keep this, and then I will probably have to just wear it with black boots. Um, and I can wear it like this to kind of camouflage that is pulling a little bit in the mid area so let me know if y'all think i should keep this and i should probably wear it like this or what should i do should i send it back i think it looks pretty good like this but i'm gonna let y'all be the judge let me know if i should keep it or not so this is the belt if you kind of left one of the strings hanging long so i'm just not sure how it's supposed to be worn. I'll look on the website, but tell me what y'all think about this item and sh if I should keep it. So this is the last item that I picked up from Rib Dolls. Um, and it's just a basic rib white dress. I love white dresses. I can't get enough of them, especially rib um, knitwear style dresses. So this one does come with a belt and this one does have belt loops attached but I would never wear this belt, so I'm just going to go ahead and take it off now. I would never wear this belt um, with this dress. It was kind of cute the way they did try to detail it with like the gold buckle and the gold little belt holes. But this is cheap. <laughs> it's cheap. It's just a, um, a piece of um, sweater-like material that they just put a buckle on it. That type of belt is going to keep twisting and flipping. You need something a little bit more structured. So I would probably, you can wear, if, if it didn't have the belt loops, I would have actually preferred this one to not have the belt loops so I could have worn it just like this. Um, but if you, you know, do want, I can even cut these off, the belt loops off, or I could just put on one of my belts um, that I already have, a structure belt or something of that sort. But I like this. I think it's just something very, very comfortable. You can wear this with just a pair of basic combat boots. I love the neckline because I am the type that cannot keep white clean. For me to love white and creams and light colors so much, y'all, when I tell y'all, I cannot keep it clean. <laughs> so that's why I walk around with a tie pin all the time. But this one, I love that you can button it down so you don't have to have this all the way up to your neck so you can avoid makeup getting on the dress says the girl who has already gotten makeup on this dress i already have a stain here and here just for me putting it on i didn't know i had makeup on my fingers that shows i can't keep clean with white <laughs> but i love this you can even dress it up as well i could you could wear it with the cream boots like i was talking about and um, that last clip, I have a pair of knee-high cream boots that I picked up from Fashion to Figure. That would look cute with this, but I probably would dress these down. I have a pair of white low sole combat boots that would look really, really nice with this. Now, the buttons are functional, so you can button this all the way up to the neck. 
but I probably wouldn't. I think that may give it more of a dressy vibe, but I'm kind of going for dress down, more sporty type vibe. So I like it. The material is pretty good. I do wish that it would have came a little bit longer, a little bit more. It is midi, but I wish it would have been like mid calf. I think it would have been cute because it would have kind of, I don't know. I just wish that it was just a little bit longer, but it's okay. I think it's very, very comfortable. This is definitely something I'll throw on on one of those days where I just want to put feel put together, but still be very, very comfortable. This dress is very comfortable. It's very, very stretchy. I got this in a 2X. I could have probably even went down to a 1X if I was going for that look. But I was going for something more comfortable. Now, I probably wouldn't be able to wear this bra. This is a very padded bra, so it may look like the buttons are stretching. That's just because the bra is very, very padded. Um, if I had on a regular bra, you wouldn't get that gap in and it would lay flat. But I love this. Tell me what you think. Oh, y'all, I didn't even turn for y'all. I'm telling you, tell, tell, tell me what you think. Um, This has a slit in the back. Y'all, these body con dresses is giving. <laughs> See, um, I love anything with a slit in the back. Um, any type of body con dress, I love it with a slit. And if you see when I turned around in the back, how I have all of this, all this fabric, fabric here. That's why I said I could have went down if you really wanted to conform to your body. Um, and be give you kind of like that hourglass shape or that bootylicious shape. You definitely want to go for tighter or size down when you're doing bodycon dresses. I'm just more of a comfortable, chic type of girl. That's why I went ahead. And um, I did size down because this is a 2X and I wear a 3. So, yeah. Tell me what you think. So, the final pieces are from Fashion to Figure. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you the shoes first and then we can get into just a couple of um clothing items that i have so of course you know fashion to figure shoes just come in a plain black box with white writing so i picked up these shoes are gorgeous my loves look at the sparkle on the band here the um rhinestones it's just giving chic i love the animal print um i know animal print is not as big as it was a couple of years ago but it's still a good print and we know your leopards and cheetahs and, and zebras, those are neutrals, honey. Um, that's a neutral. It's considered a neutral. Um, the heel on this is a it's a skinny heel, but it's not too high. It's not a kitten heel, but it's not a heel that's going to really kill your foot. So if you have an event to go to, you can get a couple of hours of wear out of something like this. And it's an easy starter heel for someone who isn't comfortable, per se, in heels. This band has a tiny bit of stretch. If you can see, I hope you can see this little bit of stretch here. So it does have a tiny bit of stretch, but it's not a lot of give. Um, if you have a wide foot and a high instep, in this may not work for you. Because I don't have a wide foot, but I do, well, I don't have a very wide foot. My foot is a little bit on the wider side, but not extra wide. Um, but I do have a high instep, so this kind of sits a little tight on me, but not tight enough to where it's noticeable or where it's hurting. I love this shoe. I absolutely love it. This is in a size 11. Um, I get all of my meals in 11. I don't, I like to see just a little bit of room in the back of a meal. I don't like when your foot is just touching the back of that meal. So these are the shoes. They are a satin material um and then they're kind of like they're like a bronzy brown with black they're perfect for the holiday season because of the rhinestones it does give you a little bit of toe cleavage not a lot but it does give you some and that is very sexy when it comes to any type of pump or like um pump style shoe and this is kind of um a wider shoe um fashion to figure does their shoes perfect it's not really a wide cut but it's not a narrow cut either so you have that space unless you have an extra wide foot um 
I would definitely dress these down. This is a shoe that I would dress down. I thought about wearing this when it gets a little bit warmer just with a pair of medium wash distressed jeans, um, a white blazer, and just a camel sole or a tank top or even just a pair of distressed jeans and a t-shirt. With this meal, the meal is going to dress up the outfit. So I wouldn't... I didn't buy these for dressy, dressy, dressy. I didn't buy this or want to wear this in any of my holiday lookbooks. I brought this because I have a vision. <laughs> so, yeah, these are the shoes. shoes. Are gorgeous. I don't know what's been going on with me this holiday season, but I have been picking up quite a few satin, satin shoes, and I have been loving each and every pair. So, I picked up... These bad boys is the right, wrong way. These beautiful shoes from um, Fashion to Figure. They are giving you, they are dupe for the, what is it called? Mac and Mac or Mock and Mock. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. But it's a, a dupe for a designer shoe. And it is beautiful. Look at the sparkle on this shoe. The camera is not doing this justice. In real life, it shines like no one's business. Of course, it has those same rhinestones around the strap. And this, I hope you can see. This is a double wrap. So this is supposed to wrap around your, your ankle twice. Um, I can't do it. I'll probably take a picture of me with these on so you can see. But it wraps around your ankle twice. It's a closed toe shoe, but the back heel is out. Um, these don't show much cleavage. They're not as low in the front as the other ones I've shown you, but they're still gorgeous. You don't even need all of that with that, with this shoe. I love how it has the sparkle here on the bow and then that little medallion here in the middle. This is a beautiful shoe. I got it in black. It's satin black. They have this in pink as well. I'm tempted to get the pink ones too. But I already have a pink um, mill style shoe that goes around the ankle in my wardrobe. And I don't like buying a whole bunch of the same things. I'm, I'm just not that girl. But this shoe is beautiful. I feel like I want to wear this the same way that I talked about with the other shoe that I just shown you. I want to dress this down. I want to wear this with distressed jeans. I'm sorry if y'all keep hearing my phone beep it up. I want to wear this with a pair of distressed jeans and just a t-shirt. I want to dress this down or with that t-shirt and that blazer over top. But this is good as well dressed up. This is a very sexy shoe. Um, you can wear, I could have worn this in my lookbook, my holiday lookbook. But I didn't get them before I did that video. This heel is about the same as the other. It's very, very comfortable. It is a skinny heel. But at the same time, if you have, if you are able to balance on your foot, you're okay with balancing. When you have on a heel, you should be good to go because it's not a high heel. It's not a kitten, but this is, to me, a beginner-friendly heel. It is comfortable. It doesn't have that much of a dip here at the arch. So you should be good. I love, love, love these shoes. Okay, my love. So the this is the first clothing item that I picked up from fashion to figure and they're just these white trousers um i have i already have i think two pair of white trousers but i was looking for the perfect white trousers i know it's winter time again i wear white in the winter i don't know who invented that no white after labor day thing i'm not worth it but i actually brought these two that i can wear now if i choose to but i definitely will get a lot of wear of these in the warmer months so that's why I picked them up because one thing about me, if I see it, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, for summer and it's, and I'm, we're now dead in the winter, get it when you see it because you, you'll be missing out. Yeah, you'll wait until the summertime and you're thinking, oh, it'll be plenty of white pants in the summer and then you miss out. You don't find that gray pair. So I wanted to pick these up now. Let me see how they look. Now, see, I will say I picked these up in a size 2x i should have gotten these in the 3x because you see the way they're pulling um here at the waist 
um well here at the hip and that's because i have wide hips but the pockets are stitched down they do have pockets the pockets are stitched down i'm thinking maybe when i let the pockets out it may fit a little bit better so i'm not sure if i'm gonna send them back for a bigger size because i like the way they fit everywhere else um they're long enough i like a longer pant they're not too long they're not too short i love it um i love the thickness of it they do you know white will show a little bit of imperfections so i probably will wear like a smoothing long um sh piece of shapewear or shaping tight with this if when i wear them just because with white and this type of material kind of like their polyester you can see imperfections so i will wear just something smoothing underneath so you won't get that but to me they fit perfect everywhere else i don't think i'm gonna send these back i think i'm gonna keep them again i am on keto but i love them these are the back the back of the pants i just threw it on with this white camel sole i may wear some similar to this in the summertime but definitely not now again these are in a 3x um it has the two class here and it has a button here and it get they give you an extra button in case you lose it but these are the pants extremely high waisted and when you have that thick band um i don't want to come up too far because you're not gonna be able to see some wash out but it has a thick band when you have a thick band on trousers to me it just pulls you in a little bit more so i like them so this is the top that I, a top i picked up from Fashion to figure, and I love it. Um, I kind of wish that it wasn't turtleneck because y'all know how I feel about turtlenecks. But this one isn't too bad because the neck is kind of slouchy to me. It's not rest restrictive. So I'm okay with that. The only thing about this, this is a two-piece. So it comes with this tank top. This tank top is ribbed. Can you see? It's ribbed, but it has the thicker ribs. And I like that. Y'all know I love anything ribbed. Um... So it's a tank top. It kind of cuts down a little bit into a uh, low scoop neck or kind of V night light neck. And then it just has this bolero that goes over top of it. The only thing is I think the bolero is a little bit too big. I think I should have went down a size because if you see it keeps puckering. I keep having to play around with it. But I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I would have loved it better if it was a... A um, little bit of a smaller fit because then it may would look like this but right now it's given this but it's okay I may keep it so this is how I would probably wear the pants to winterize them if I was going to wear the white pants right now during the colder months I would just put on a black top a black sweater and a black pair of pumps I keep doing this because I keep reaching for my pockets but the pockets are sewn down I need to unsew them if I decide to keep them, I think I am. I know I'm going to keep them, but I'm not sure if I'm going to go up to the 3X or keep the 2X. But isn't this giving sophisticated? This is giving kind of like rich, rich vibes, rich girl vibes with the white on black. So, yeah, I love this. I do love the shirt. Um, I think I'm going to, I'm not sure. I'll probably keep this size i'm not sure i may go down for a smaller size this is in a size 2x i may go down to a 1x but this is the top okay so this shirt is the next item it's just a see-through shirt i've been wanting a shirt like this for a while um i've been wanting this because i can wear it under my vest i brought a lot of um blazer vests in the summertime that i haven't been able to wear because hence no sleeves um and i could wear those vests with like um white button downs but i think that would look a little bit too dressy kind of like office attire or i could wear those type of um vests with sweaters but then with that to me it's just a little bit too bulky and even when you have on like your um what are those called henley type shirts um 
to dress down. So I wanted something like this so I could still, when I, I can wear those vests and still feel dress, dressed up and fashion forward. Um, so I got this and this can be worn under multiple things. You can wear it under a regular blazer. I just wanted something a little bit more sexy. So that's why I picked this up. It was on sale. It was very cheap price. So I know I didn't want to pay a lot for it. I saw one on Shein that I was going to pick up, but then I decided to get this one because I thought it'd be probably a little bit better quality. Um, you know, I would definitely have on a full coverage bra when I wear a see-through shirt like this and definitely something over top of it. But I did want to show you it like this before I go ahead and throw on a vest over top. But this is just an essential piece. Um, yeah, I love it. So let me show you the idea I had of this top and the pants when I brought it. So, so the idea was to wear it with this white um, blazer that I got in the summertime from H&M. And to be honest, I wanted to wear this look just like this. Just how I'm wearing it now. Just like this. So, the pants are a little bit brighter than the jacket, but they're both white. These are both white pieces. They're not all white. They are white. Uh, so, yeah, this is the look that I had in mind with just a pair of black pumps. I think this is giving balls chick, se sexy balls chick. So, I love it. I love it. It's giving what I want it to give. That's why I'm okay with keeping this size in pants because it's basically going to be covered. But I love it. I love this look together. So I'm about to show y'all my last piece. <laughs> and this last piece, y'all not going to believe it because it's not me. It's not me at all. But I have a photo shoot coming up. I'm doing a photo shoot. I don't know if I mentioned that early in the video, but I'm doing a Valentine's Day photo shoot. Um, shoot. It's going to be all in one. I'm doing some pictures for Valentine's Day. I'm doing some pictures for some business cards. And as well as um, for party invitations if I have a birthday party this year. I think I already mentioned that, but I'm not sure. So, let me show you what I'm about to put on. Okay, my love. So, for this one, I had to put on a blazer because your girl just made partner. And I ain't trying to get demonetized already. But, um... Before I step back, again, this is for a photo shoot. Um, I, I'm not scared to wear it out or I don't feel like it's inappropriate if you wear it the way I'm thinking about wearing it in my head. And I'm not going to fully style it out for you. I may do that in a video prior to my photo shoot. But um, right now, I'm just going to show you the piece. So let me step back. So yes, <laughs> this is the piece. Now, y'all know y'all have never seen me like this on this channel other than my baby suit um, haul, the she and baby suit haul that I did previously. But, again, I'm looking for sexy pieces for that photo shoot. I have some more pieces that um, I'm considering for the photo shoot that's about to come in. So, I'll probably do another lookbook for you. Well, not lookbook, haul for you. But, um, this is one of the outfits I will be wearing. So, it is see-through. Um, it's see-through. I know it's see-through. I meant for it to be see-through. So, I wouldn't wear it just see-through. I'm just not that girl. And I'm too a little too old for that. So, I would wear it just like this with a blazer on top. Being so, this is going to be a Valentine's Day photo shoot. I'm really looking hard for a red blazer. Probably single-breasted. Something that cinches me in a little bit more at the waist. Um, to give me more of a figure, but if I can't find that I'll just stick with this blue one because it is more covering It's covering covering everything. So of course I can't show you the whole Piece without this blazer because it is YouTube and I don't want my videos to be flagged But it does have a full panty. I'll just show you a little bit. It has a full panty um, And you know all the way around you just step into it. So it's hiding everything you needed to have <laughs> and it's not a thong panty it's basically a full brief panty um if you got a big bum like mine you gonna have a little spillage <laughs> but it's not a thong panty it's a full coverage panty so my idea with this is to wear it with a pair of mesh pumps that i have i'm gonna show you give me a minute so y'all i have these mesh pumps um that i picked up from 
I think I got these from Macy's, but I got these quite a while ago. I have had them for a very long time, and I hardly got anywhere out of it. I think I only wore these twice. But I think this would look so darling. So darling with this outfit. Um, it just gives it a more sexy, sophisticated look rather than kind of sexy, trashy. Um, but that's your opinion on however you know you feel it is the outfit is but i feel like this is very very sexy very sexy too sexy for most but at the same time you know the way you style it is will it will distinguish it between trashy and classy i don't even say classy because this ain't classy but it ain't trashy either the way i plan on styling it i think it would look so lovely um with these heels now like i said this is for a photo shoot but i wouldn't feel comfortable wearing this I, I i would not feel uncomfortable wearing this outside i just wouldn't wear it to like dinner you know dinner with the husband if i was to wear this outside of my photo shoot i would wear this for like birthday birthday gathering when you really want want to be bang you know everybody seeing you all attention on you you want to be extra sexy but I wouldn't wear this just to like me or in one of my husband's date night. I probably wouldn't feel comfortable, you know, like that when it into a restaurant. But I would feel comfortable if I was having a birthday party or something like that wearing something like this. So the pants are really, really good. They have a thick elastic band. And this band is good for holding you in. Now, these pants are a little too big for me. I should have sized down. This is in a size 3X. I should have gotten it in 2X. I'm tempted about sending it back and maybe getting it 2X because I really want it to be so sexy. I want my husband to be like, wow. So, I may send it back, but it does have the thick band to hold you in in the waist um, to kind of pull you in. But this is a little too big. It has ruching all down the leg, if you can see the bottom of the pants. So, it does have ruching. That is good. I love that it's in a black mesh because it's very forgiving. Even though I have cellulites and things like that, it's still not giving me or showing all of that extra. <laughs> you know, it's camouflaging my legs. And you all know stockings and tights will camouflage the legs. I'm really glad that it's in black. And then being as though it's in a very dark color, it doesn't look too overly naked <laughs> you know what I mean it don't look overly naked so yeah um, these are the pants I'm going to wear this is not a set I brought it separately but I'm going to wear it as a set um, with a blazer hopefully a red one but if not this blue will do <laughs> Okay, my love, so that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoy all of the pieces that I've shown you today. If you have made it this long, please thumbs up the video. It really helps me out in the algorithm. Okay, my loves, I'll see you in the next one.